Hey guys, welcome to yet another Frontend News Podcast. Today's 14th episode. We have a short list, but a very good list of news today. I'm here with Tommy K. Hey Tommy. Hi Chris. How was your week? Thanks for asking. Uh, as always, my week was awesome. <laughs> I have a lot of parties this week, so... I know. Uh, my life is one big party. I know. But let's say to our lovely audience, how was your week? My week was also epic because I was partying with you. Oh yeah, really? So it was this guy who was dancing near to me and uh, taking my beer all the time. Exactly, that was me. <laughs> but now it's time <laughs> to present you news, guys. What's first, Tomasz? Okay, so our agenda is short, but quite interesting. So for the first news, uh, I would like to serve you a V8 release version 9.2 and right after that we will talk about Ember 4.0 yep exactly the third news will be about a hyperscript tagged markup and fourth news is gonna be about the no new release the last one yep you are right node.js and version 16.5.0 and what's new sit comfortable watch the intro and stay tuned Okay, I think the first one is the most interesting, so the update in the engine. What are the updates? Yes, you're right, Chris. So uh, V8 will get a new release with the Chrome 92 version, and it will be released in a few weeks. And what's inside? Uh, the very interesting thing is that we get a new method for the array typed array and strings. Uh, which is at so uh, it will get only one argument as a param and it will be the index value It will behave like if you will give the positive index It will grab the value at the given index or return undefined if the index does not uh, exist at, I mean if the value does not exist at this uh, at this index or uh, if you will give uh, for example a negative value if you will pass minus one uh, you will get the last value from the array minus two uh, one before the last one, you know, and and so on. And so on. So this is uh, the big change in the V8 engine. Besides, nothing bigger has been included. Really? Yeah. Just that. Yes, just that. You, you said it will be a great big news, but it's like because I was, you know, I expecting something like major. It's like no 92 release. This so. this week does not include any ma major updates or releases. But yeah, uh, you know, future will show. Exactly. <laughs> yes, indeed. Great. And yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. So the next one is going to be about Ember 4.0. Yep. I, yeah, I think that this one is going to be epic. Is it? <laughs> yes, it's going to be massive. Great. Massive. Just, you know, just listen, listen, guys. Yeah. Uh, so Ember 4.0, this is something that will uh, be released in the uh, next couple of weeks. You know, Ember JS is very stable and uh, very... I would say solid framework for the JavaScript to build uh, modern web applications. Just out of curiosity, have you ever worked with Ember? In the past, I was working with Ember JS. Maybe not uh, on the big commercial projects, but uh, just to have a knowledge and some kind of experience, practice. I did check it, and it's really, you know, I would say it has a great documentation. It's really stable. It has good community. It's really nice to use. I mean the. Mm, entry level is not so high as for the Angular, for example, but still, it's much harder for the developer than the React.js. Okay, so going back to the topic, what's in? What's in? Great, so uh, the new incoming version 4.0, watch out, does not include any breaking <laughs> changes. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> the only thing that they will put into 4.0 version is removing the appreciated API, and that's it. Okay, I was hoping for very good news today, but it's apparently like vacation season, but let's check the next it's one. A, it's a cucumber is, season. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cucumber season. So check the next one, which is Hyperscript Tagged Markup. Thomas, Great. Um, explain this to us. Yeah, HTM is something like JSX uh, syntax in a plain JavaScript, but uh, the difference between the JSX and HTM is that it's it does not require any transpiler to work. So uh, it means that you can put the HTML markup 
directly into uh, JavaScript, stack templates, and it will work just out of the box. It has been developed with uh, the Preact, so it's on the top of Preact, which is a smaller optimized version of the React library. I really recommend to check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description, description. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the link will be in the description and it's worth to check because this is a really nice alternative for the JSX. And yeah, if you do not have to transpile it, it means that it's faster. I hope so. I hope so. That's it. Let's see. Okay, this one for sure will bring a lot of updates. We yeah. Have... Yeah? Yeah, a lot of updates. Guys, Deno 1.12. Exactly. Deno 1.12 release. It includes some improvements, updates, fixes, no breaking changes at all. <laughs> I know, Chris, that you're waiting for this one big news that will change the whole game and your developer life will be totally different. But this was I looking for, yes. Yes, exactly. I know. I really want to give you this, but it's not today. Yeah, but next time, why not? I cannot promise. Okay. I won't promise. Maybe. A little bit, let's small see. promise. Let, let's give a small promise. Okay, let's see. I will try. <laughs> no, guys, remember, do not be over-promised, under-delivered. Do the opposite way. Uh, but about the demo updates and what's inside, we did get uh, some portion of improvements, updates, which is uh, support generate key, sign and verify web crypto APIs. Uh, so it sounds really useful. Um, if you work with uh, cryptography. We did receive the support for the HTTP server, for the web sockets. Uh, we did get a TypeScript support in RAPL, uh, support for the message port and message channel, and support for VASM threading is now available. So yeah, if you are interested in more updates for the Dino, and if you work with the Dino, just check their documentation because you can find more information and explanations for each of these updates and the purpose of why did they change this. And that's it from the Dino world for today. So the last one is about Node.js update, uh, version 16.5. Yep, we did, yeah, we did get a stable release uh, of the Node, which is 16.5.0. And inside, uh, you're <laughs> you're probably looking for some breaking features and breaking but updates. There is no. Well, we can say that there is something that we can test because the Node.js team make an experimental API available for now for us now, okay. which is WebStreams API. So you can try of how to work with uh, WebStreams on the backend side and uh, you know implement the server to handle it. And so yeah, it's. Something new, or something breaking. Yes, this, this, this was a surprise for the end for you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, as I said, this API is experimental, so it has been not exposed on the global object, and it's only available if you will import directly this package. And um, during the import, you will receive, maybe it's not an error, but you will get, get a warning that you are importing an experimental package and it's not you know ready for production yet. But well, who cares? Let's let's play with it and check who, how it works, and let's wait for the stable release for that, uh, for this experimental API. But yeah, you, you can try it on your own. Exactly. Give it a try and stay tuned with us. And guys, this is it. This is the whole portion of news for today, our cucumber season. So yeah, just let's stay tuned. Let's stay tuned and check our leakyms.com and frontendhouse.com website. You'll find a lot of recruitment offers here. Yeah, guys. As Chris said, visit our websites, our socials, and let's get in touch. We are looking for great talents to work with us, to work together, to create a great team and do some awesome projects for our lovely clients. So looking forward to see you guys on the recruitment call. Thank you. Thank you. See Chris. you next time. Bye.